Alright, testing sound levels again. The game sound should be heard right now at a normal level, and the voice should be louder than the game sounds. If you can't hear me and I'm just jabbering at the mic, uh, that would be cool to know. But the settings are pretty much the same as they were yesterday. So if you guys can hear everything okay, then we'll keep it on these settings. And uh, again, to clarify, this is a two-day qualifier because we have two spots. So yesterday, the first spot was given out, and today there's going to be a whole other tournament that is going to determine the second spot. I guess maybe I could um, I could turn the mic volume down because if I put it right here, this is probably too loud, right? Test, test, one, two. Ah! If this is too loud, a lot of the commentators might be using this distance. So I could turn the mic down a little bit if this is too loud now. All right, perfect. Well, like I said, these are the settings for most of yesterday, so we'll keep it on this for now. Oh, thank you, Deftones. I truly appreciate that. You know what's a total bummer? I uh, I, I think I lost my portable hard drive. I can't find it anywhere. I ser I looked for it for like an hour last night, and I probably just misplaced it to be honest. But I have no idea where it is. I even checked. I even checked underneath all the cracks on my couch at home. Because you know how some th sometimes things just end up like in the center of the sofa somehow. I lifted up all the cushions, looked under my bed, in the refrigerator. So let's see, today is going to be pretty much everyone you saw yesterday because they're all automatically entered into today's tournaments. So of course Fnatic is going to be back, Stone, Jan, all those dudes are going to be back. Ron Masama of course is not allowed to enter because he's already qualified. And I don't think anything, um, anybody else crazy is going to show up today. Like, I think Justin gave up on this. Yeah, Mihei is here. 
Nihei finished, I think, uh, third or fourth place yesterday, so he definitely does have a good chance. We do not have Persona 4 over here. Persona 4 arcade board only works in Japan because it runs on the Nesca system. Google Nesca X Live if you'd like more information about that. And read about why it doesn't work over here. But of course we'll have it. Um, we'll get the console version as soon as it comes out. So. I know there are a lot of people here planning on playing P4. PS3 stick a requirement for next week, or can we use cab? Um, if you're talking about the Super Arcade qualifier, I don't know. I'm not sure how they have it set up. So uh, since you guys tuned in early, I'll tell you a secret. I know you guys were wondering why the guy kick got kicked out yesterday. So uh, the reason is pretty simple and it's not a big deal. But the reason why is uh, because he actually knocked over an arcade cabinet. I have no idea how he did it. The arcades are like pretty much bolted to the ground almost. But uh, he got a little bit too hype and he knocked over an arcade ca cabinet, almost you know, bumps people in the feet. Could have been a liability issue for us. So he's not banned or anything. He was he's welcome to come back today, and uh, he may have come back later uh, later last night. I'm not sure, but he was just a little bit too high. He, he was fine. He just needed a little break. No worries. Yeah, I'll be honest. The last match he was commentating with me, I even had no idea what he was saying. But he brought the hype yesterday. Good shit. He was the most hype person here, for sure. He's also a very good Street Fighter Cross Tekken player. That's correct. Ranma-sama won yesterday. Ranma-sama is... Basically, he's the strongest player in Louisiana. And... I don't know. I, I think he's maybe in Shreveport, which is pretty close to Texas, if I recall correctly. So... Not too bad of a drive to come down from Louisiana to Texas tournaments. I see him at a lot of Texas events. 
especially Dallas is not that far away. And after this, there's just one more SBO qualifier. It's um, Soul Calibur 5 and Marvel uh, next week at Super Arcade. And Super Arcade's AE qualifier was one week before EVO. And of course, that's the one that Dominion and PR Rocks team won. Justin is not here today, at least I don't see him. And, I mean, he just tweeted that he woke up like an hour ago. He didn't say anything about trying to come again. So I'm pretty sure he gave up after missing his fight yesterday. Yeah, there's only one AE team from USA for SBO this year. And it's not a matter of, like, SBO just isn't choosing... Uh, you know, Americans to go. It's nothing like that. It's just a matter of resources. Like, you know, um, SBO doesn't pay for the players to come out to their tournament. Like, it, it's, you know, sort of a grassroots thing that we have to use to get our players out there. So, we can't just get like 10 spots for SBO because not everyone would be able to go. So, there's kind of no point. The other thing you have to consider is that AE is a 3v3 tournament this year. So that's three people that has to go to Japan and has to all arrange travel and stuff, you know? So it's pretty complicated. I mean, at the most, two AE teams, I could understand, but any more than that, you know, would be like, it would be a lot of effort to get those people out there. SBO is just a fighting game tournament. It's not anything else. Um, however, this year, the format of SBO is going to be a lot different. They're combining it this year with... Uh, they're calling it like Summer Game Festival. And it's being combi combined with a, a shmup convention. Like vertical, vertical shoot em up convention. And a couple of other game things that I'm not really familiar with. But this is the first year they're doing it like that. And then a couple of years before this, prior to this, they teamed up with Tokyo Game Show. Because Arcadia, the company that puts on um, SPO and Tokyo Game Show, are both underneath Interpan, which is like the big game conglomerate that puts out like Famitsu Magazine and stuff like that. It's all the same parent company. Yeah, no Guilty Gear at SBO really is too bad, but if there is an SBO next year, which I hope there is, um, then I'm sure the new Guilty Gear will be in it, ACR.
Am I just going to stand in front of the camera for the next hour? Yes, I was thinking about it, actually. I am having so much fun browsing the internet. I have to sit here so I can take registration for people who want to register for just the second tournament, stuff like that. There is no room for a chair in this arcade, and I'm afraid. If I sat down in a chair where I'm standing right now, people really wouldn't be able to walk by behind me. Yes, it is an arcade, so it is pay for play. That's the only way arcades make money, actually, in case you didn't know. And all the games do have chairs. This is a sit-down arcade. But there isn't... <laughs> you know, the idea is people are supposed to be sitting down to play games, not for anything else. So there are seats for the game machines, but besides that, it's stand-up. No, the brackets for the second day are not up yet. That won't be happening until right when the tournament starts, since we're taking registration up until the last minute. But you can go to the challenge site right now and see who is registered. So you can do that. It's arcadeufo.challenge.com. And just click on the link. Uh, game audio got cut off because no one put in coins. That's how it works.
Uh, will there be casuals after the tourney? I don't understand your question. Are you asking if we're going to stream casuals after the tournament? Or are you asking if this is an arcade? Because arcades are like 24-7 casuals. You can come anytime and play casuals. No, there is no free play at this arcade. Starbucks does not give away free coffee. If they did, there would be no Starbucks. Similarly, arcades are pay-for-play. Thanks for asking, though. Yo, what's good, Kevin? Uh, actually, there's pretty much no cash being made this weekend since it's all going back to the tournament winners. And uh, I, we're still paying out of pocket after that. So this event is 100% for the players. Yo, what's good, Tyram? Uh, Kamamu, there is the Super Arcade Qualifier next weekend. And the safety vest is the uniform for the arcade. There's a big UFO logo on the back. Alright, I just tried something in the settings. Um, if this doesn't fix the echo on the mic, I'm not sure how to fix it, to be honest. The only thing I could think is that maybe the, the cameras are picking up some of the sounds. But those are definitely all muted now. Yo, Frey, Boom Gorillas, check your settings, son. Nah, definitely subscribe to Boom Gorillas on uh, Twitch TV as well. They put on a lot of, a lot of amazing streams in the Texas area as well. Definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel and to their Twitch channel. I know the next big one they're doing is the UCC tournament. That's going to be Labor Day weekends, which I think is like the first weekend of September. That's going to be a Boom Gorilla streamed event. So that's going to be the next big one for Texas. You're definitely all going to want to see.
あそうですよ、今日も予選やってる土地2枠なんですからえ 2, 2枠なんで、あのー、最初の日は最初の枠をして、あのー、今日も優勝者へ2回目の枠です。Yo, I definitely did plan on staying both days, but I 100% was trying to win yesterday. I just got boxed.、Um, I,、uh, I don't know. I got bopped by Hagar. His hitbox is a little bit different than what I expected it to be. I hate two out of three for that reason. So now I, I had a chance to learn it. So now I guess I have a,、uh, I can figure it out. So now I think I should be a little bit more prepared today.、Um, also,、um, I do not have a criminal record. I mean, you can't call it criminal. It's traffic. You know what I'm saying? Like, a traffic warrant ain't nothing. You know? <laughs> I mean, what kind of black man would I be without a, a traffic record? Hey,、um, let me ask you actually who are, the, who are the players that you were most impressed by here that you didn't already know about? Like, I'm sure you knew about like, Jan and Nihei and stuff, but、um, who caught your eye that like, you didn't really know anything about before?、Um, you? I didn't know you played this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I played like, online actually. All right, so it was you, I would say.、Um, oh my God. No, but I've been fighting, I don't even know some of these people's names. This is one dude playing re,、uh, Zero, Captain America, Doctor Doom. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Benzor. You know what? He told me he missed yesterday because he overslept. Well, I hope he misses today. And, yeah, he, said he's, he, says, he said he's coming today. He's very、Gosh. solid. He's one of our best. Jeez, man. He actually is.、Uh, well, I think he lives in Austin now, but he's from Colleen, which is like an hour and a half away from here. I hope he, I hope he missed it because he was bopping yeah, me he's, yesterday. He's, real solid, he's really solid. Um, uh, I don't know. Outside of that, I mean, I feel like I don't see, I don't know a lot of their names, but it seems like you guys have a lot of killers. Everywhere I go in Marvel, there's like straight, there's good players. Like, I've, yeah, never,、yeah. I've never been to a scene where there's like no good players. Marvel, the skill cap isn't too high to where you'd, like in Marvel 2, you would see players and you'd be like, oh, they're talented, but they're just r i g h t they're not all the way there. Yeah, in this game, to get to that point, Well, I think, I think there's two factors. I think one is that, you know, Marvel 3 is, and people are going to hate me for this, but Marvel 3 is more of a one player game than most games, than most fighting games. Exactly. So you can kind of get really good just playing training mode and not really playing against opponents as much. I've said that all day.、Um, I feel like training mode is more important than this. That's why I feel like I can be good at Marvel 3, because I have no one to play against. I see. So I play in training mode. 
Okay. I could never learn Street Fighter I mean, that way. Training mode in this game is so important. It's so much more so than Street Fighter. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I've, I've always thought that since the beginning of Marvel. And there is one more thing actually. I really think that um, just like how quickly the information spreads through Twitter and YouTube. I think that any fighting game that comes out now gets broken down much faster than it would before. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like and that's and yeah that's the difference in um because in Marvel two. It wasn't that way at all. People would keep secrets and, and all that stuff. Right. Save that shit for nationals. We all knew that phrase back then, you know? Yeah. So nowadays, it's like, I mean, heck, someone just found out the Sentinel could crouch in medium after a plasma. You know what I mean? And it's event hub, front page. Now uh, all the other Sentinels should be doing that, myself included. Right, right. And I mean, I mean even, uh, even Kubota Escape was discovered by Kubo like two weeks before Evo. And, you know, that was secret for a whole like two weeks pretty much and then that was it like, yeah the, the lid was blown open like right after evo so i still haven't seen it with my own eyes i've only heard about it i need to see that okay i mean it won't freak you out that much it'll be a little weird the first time you see it but yeah basically the character just goes off the screen for, for a few seconds like, isn't it banned though what's that wasn't it isn't it banned no, it's not banned hmm. all right i gotta see it i mean i guess it's something i probably gotta add to my arsenal it costs one meter it's no no meter, no meter. How can you have a free escape that costs zero meter and it not be banned? Is it something that could happen accidentally? No. So it has to. It's it's very intentional. It is, it is bannable. Yeah. Okay. I mean, th like they have to input a very specific command to do it. Basically, what you have to do is when their opponent super when your opponent super flash happens, you have to input fireball snapback, and then hold the button as if you were doing a raw tag. And some people say you only have to do it once. I do it twice, and it always comes out that way. Okay, I'm sorry. Say, so tell me the input. I was daydreaming. I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah, no One problem, more time. No you do a snapback, and mm -hmm. then when you hit the button, you hold it down for a second as if you were doing a raw attack. That's it? That's it. So like, just snapback the, the and hold the button. The way Kubo taught me is you do it twice. Like you do it, like the super flash starts, you do fireball, snapback, hold the button for a second, and then let go and do it one more time. That's how I learned it. I and I've never it. missed it that way. I want to see People it. People say you only have to do it once, but I miss it sometimes when I do it once. So doing it so twice do it is twice. like a... You know what's funny is because I do everything twice. Like when I do a DHC, I do it like... For example, if I do a shockwave and someone does a super to stop mine, I will literally mash Hellstorm over and over until the you know, timing. And that's actually how Kubo discovered it. He discovered it because he was playing against Cho. And Cho would always do shockwave into uh, spiral swords. And so he did that. And he was trying to snap back the spiral swords, and that's how he discovered it. Ah, that makes sense. And then they sense. were like, "What the fuck just happens?" And they they went to training mode and broke it down. That makes sense. Like, yeah. yeah, to me, I don't know. I'm all about that. Like, I feel like you can you can always miss something. Well, see, that's, that's, like I say, the skill cap in Marvel. In Marvel 2, you couldn't mash it. You had to time everything. Someone would do a proton cannon, and you'd be in the, you'd do a Tempest, and then you had to one frame to DHC the Hailstorm during that, like, as soon as the screen unfurls, you had to do it on that one frame. Like, in this game now, you don't have to do that. Like, you really get to just, you can mash it. Like, if I see a bionic arm, the second I see a bionic arm, if I'm playing, like, a Kuma or something, I just immediately do a DP motion. I just DP, DP super, and it's like, oh, it's gonna come out when it ends. Like the being able to buffer during super animation is pretty. Well, it makes. Well, it removes the skill gap. I like it though. You know, you know what I used to always ask. I used to always wonder in Marvel two days. I used to always say to myself like, because the biggest barrier for me, I felt always was execution. Not for me personally, but I mean for what kept us versus other people was always like execution, and I'd wonder like, well. If the execution wasn't there, if they were able to, like, you know, if, if, if that wasn't the barrier, you know, would Rocky they be on our level? And now Marvel 3 is the example of that, I feel. I see, I see. And I like it. I actually like the idea that everybody can play. It, it makes the, the scene bigger. Because I, I love Marvel 2, but I hated being one of 10 people playing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and Marvel 3 still does have an execution barrier, but it's nothing like Marvel 2. Right, and I think that makes it actually more fun. Because I, I think Marvel 2 is more work. Like, you know what it's like, I have to work on this specific timing and stuff. Like, this right. game, 
is now more appealing to more people. There are a lot of people that play Marvel 3 that wouldn't be playing otherwise, which means the scene would be smaller, which means sponsorship wouldn't be possible, and all of those things. So I'm actually happy the direction Marvel 3 went. Um, is Marvel 2 better competitively? Yes. But I think it's worth it. I, I'm very happy with the direction. I'm, I, I like Marvel Good. 3 Good. a lot. I'm, 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 I, I, this is my favorite game right now. Yeah, and you know, um, well... To me, it's hard to decide on a favorite game between this and KOF 13. I like both games very much, but um, yeah, Marvel 3 definitely has like, like the, the way I describe it to people when they ask is, you know, people will ask, well, do you think Marvel 3 is broken? And I'm like, ah, yeah, sure, it's broken, but That's a good thing. it's really fun. Yeah, it's supposed to be broken. Yeah. If it was, if Marvel 3 wasn't broken, I wouldn't like the game. I, yeah, I feel yeah. like it has to be broken, and, and part of that brokenness, I think, is what creates the pressure. Like, you know when you're playing Marvel 3 and you're full screen away from someone and you're nervous and you're wondering, like, oh, God. Right, you're like, he's got meter, he could bionic army, he could, like... You're still at the go, edge of your seat. Go nuts, yeah. In Street Fighter 4, if I'm full screen from a Ryu, I was like, all right, let me just calmly jump over this fireball. Right. Like, if there's no yeah, pressure. Like, let me just I love feeling at the edge, like, feeling on the edge at all times. And by the way, someone said... Um, I, I didn't say that it's better. I never said that it's better because it's easier. I'm not saying that at all. I still, like I said, I think Marvel 2 is a better competitive game. But I think Marvel 3 is better for the seat. That's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying it even adds depth. Am I hanging around the arcade la like late like last night? I would like to. I don't. I leave till tomorrow. I mean, I leave Monday. I don't even know when my flight leaves. I'll, I'll call them and figure out. I didn't. They booked it for me, so I, I don't even know when I do that. So yeah, I'll be here. So see, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Trademark 0013. You're looking at it kind of bad. I'm not saying. Okay, you. I think we we agree. Uh, we're not disagreeing here. I definitely feel that Marvel Two is a better game than Marvel Three, and I think making games easier is not the best for the competitive scene, not best for the competition. However, it is better for volume, and that's what I think is really important. I want the fighting game community to be really, really, really big. That's what I want. Like I, I would, I would like it to be esports StarCraft level. You know what I mean? Um, Maybe not with, without the nerf, nerfed personalities. So for me, I think any game that's going to do something to encourage more players, a bigger player field, I think is always great. I have a question, actually. Did you ever play Magic the Gathering, Fnatic? I do not. Okay. Um, I, some people are going to hate me for this, too, but uh, a lot of fighting game players used to play Magic. I would say, like, above 50% of fighting game players that are old school, like, played Magic before they played fighting games. And I was, I was one of those people. I played from like middle school all the way up until I graduated high school. And then I started playing fighting games competitively when I started college, because that's when I had arcades close to me again. But I feel like Magic sort of had like the same evolution and the same problems when it was growing up. Like, um, when it was around like between revised and fifth edition, the game was like so complicated that there was a, a huge barrier, you know? So many yeah, people yeah, yeah. liked it and liked the universe and thought it was cool and wanted to play it. But the rules were so obscure and the instructions were so, like, you know, wacky. And there would be so many instances where people would get into arguments over, like, no, my card does this. And it's like, no, you can't do that yet. And, you know, there, there were just constantly arguments over the rules. And he's here now. The guy I was hoping wouldn't show was bopping my business. So, yeah. What's up, man? Good, good. How's it going, bro? So, um, yeah, I feel like... um. I feel like Magic made like a good turn of direction when they started making the game more simple. Like, and they didn't make the game bad. They simply made some of the rules less obscure. Like, they they modified the rules such that things made a little bit more sense. And just doing things like that, I think, really improved the lifespan of the game. And you know, of course, it's it's still big now. So, I think. See, I never played any deck building games. Um, Knives played Yu-Gi-Oh, like competitively, professionally. Let me 
I just want to see how many people. Oh, but I did not. Um, I did not money match Nimi. Me, hey. Who was better at MVC two? Sanford. I think I could give him a run for his money. I I've beaten him, um, in in some sets, but I think he was a better player. Yo, look at Nerd Josh on the camera. He looks so happy right now. I've never seen a man so happy to do shit. <laughs> While playing combos. Marvel. Yeah, yeah. He's having a lot of fun right now. I have mad respect for that. And do you think we'd have time for me and Mihei to run a set after the tournament? They keep begging for it. People are begging for it. Well, if the people want it. I don't even think he... I, I'll do it casual. I don't want to put any money on it, though. I'll just, I'll just play him in a set. We'll see what Mihei thinks. He might, he might run away from the camera. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Would you be would it would be great? I don't I'm not it is what it is. Maybe if we turn off Mihei's camera he'll do it. Yo, we do need to give Mihei sponsor though. Yeah, he I mean Mihei has everything going for him right now. Like, you know, he's super, super young. Um You know, he and he's already this good. He reminds me a lot of like how Justin was back then, you know? Yeah. It just Yeah. He gotta work on his other characters though. Yeah. But I mean, Justin was Fnatic isn't way. even close to Sanford and Marvel. Yo, just ask about me, son. Damn. Check, check the records, bro. <laughs> check the records. Check the records. Anyway, but um, yeah, I've, it's funny too because he's playing Terra online right now, and I'm telling you, I do the same exact thing. Like, I'll get into other games that'll right. take all my time, and then I'll, I'll get bops during that point in time. Like, you know, like within, you know, if I put a lot of time into Marvel, I do better. The new reverb shock thing, um, it's good for frame traps, but it's not like game breaking. Wait, what's um, that? He's, he's talking about the reverb shock thing. Uh, I, I see. don't think it's game breaking because it's not a true uh, box in, um, infinite. The, the video is a lie. But it does definitely give you a frame trap. And it is hard to do. I tried to do I practiced it this morning for about half an hour, and I could do it maybe like one out of ten times. Yeah, Sanford was in, we did that $24,000 money match. And uh, I had I beat him for my portion of the set, so I don't know. I'm not. Say I know he's a better player than I am, but I mean, to say we're not close is retarded because I beat the same people he could beat. More people entering. I wish we had a third. You don't have a. You could make one of these into a third setup. Um, I, I'm gonna do that when Persona comes out. Uh, but no, it, well, it, take, it takes the, a while to convert it. So. I mean, for Marvel though. Yeah, there, there's no way we could do it today. Oh, okay. Oh wait, you have to like alter the machine and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to make a lot of changes to it. I'm gonna try. He know I can't guarantee anything. It's Marvel, and it's two out of three. But uh, wait, wait. OMG, Zill. I was barely relevant in the game when it was become when becoming irrelevant. So yeah. was the game becoming irrelevant in 2007 and 2008? Because that was my first year getting top eight. 2007. Because if that's the case, 2007 then yeah. was my first year getting top eight at Evo. Yeah. So it's third strike irrelevant then. <laughs> if that's the case, then that means Jax was never relevant because he didn't even become relevant until 2K6, 2K7. So based off of your failed not uh, uh, failed logic, somebody time that nigga out. No, no, I had to answer him just that one time. Just let him know he's re -re he was Riri, -re, and now somebody time that nigga. Out. So we have no mods. I'm a mod one guy temporarily. Okay. All right. He no good. You in there. Oh. 
There we go. This is he's from, he's from my stream. Go on and time that nigga out, please. You know, handle your business. Uh, <laughs> you can unmod him though. Damn, he, he, he got he got the power. Yeah, <laughs> you just got bop, son. <laughs> no, no, it's cool, pop, pop tart Nick. I just be tr I mean, I just be going in every now and then. I, I like to give them what they want. Who is better, Yates or Christian Mitt? It depends on what year. One year, yeah, Yates is better. Christian Mitt was better in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, Yates didn't even get into Marvel until 2K5. And this is how you know this dude is so ridiculous. Because... Yeah, because he climbed to the top of, like, a, a scene of people that have been playing the game for five or six years. In one year. In one year. Like, that didn't make no sense. I am drinking a lot of water. I'm gonna have to get another one soon. Uh oh. Is this a super magneto? Carrot, nice to meet you. Thank you. I actually ate breakfast today, so I don't feel like drained already. I feel like I'm in good shape. Yesterday I felt deprived of energy and I went and grabbed uh, one of those burritos, but it didn't do much for me. Today I actually feel in good shape. I feel alert, which is pretty rare. Yo, yo, yeah, Knives played um, Yu-Gi-Oh, not me. Pop-Tart, nigga, I've been asking all kinds of questions. Ask, ask away. I don't believe Justin is here today. All right, uh, guys in the arcade, thank you again for coming today for day two of qualifiers. This is going to be the same format as yesterday, two out of three, double elimination. Uh, the winner will join Ranma Sama in his quest to defeat Japan on their home soil. Um, I am taking signups right now, so if you did not sign up yesterday and you want to sign up today, come see me as soon as you can. We're going to start at uh, 2 p.m in about 15, 20 minutes here. And if you played yesterday and already paid, you're automatically in the bracket today. So you don't have to come see me if you already played yesterday. Your name is already in the brackets. Um, finally, if you were here yesterday and you're not here today, we will be disqualifying the names that don't show up in time very quickly. So if you're on your way, haven't left yet, know anybody on their way, Tell them to get here ASAP because we're going to start right at 2 p.m. Thank you. Um, quick question. Uh, is it possible we could do winners and losers finals three out of five? We got to stick with the same format we did today. Otherwise, it's unfair. Golly, man. I, know it, I know it's rough, but Japan is rough, man. Japan yeah, is going to be even worse. No, they're going to be even it's gonna easier because be worse. Worse. it's less skill. I feel like Japan is good, but they ain't as good as U.S. I don't think any Marvel ever, in anywhere, in any place, should ever be two out of three. Ever. Ever. Like, under any circumstances. It just doesn't make sense to ever do Marvel like that. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Like, never. Under any circumstances. And you know, Fnatic, you say that, but I really think 
you're not giving Japan enough credit, man. Like, no, no, I, no, I didn't say that they're not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I know, like, especially from an outsider's perspective, if you look at you know the performance in Evo, um, you know it was sub subpar, definitely. But the way I feel is that Japan like gives way too much respect to everybody, or rather, like I feel like they play the game really. Uh, the best way to say it is maybe moral. Like, they assume their opponents are going to make good decisions, which is not necessarily the best way to play Marvel. Well, okay, see, here's the deal. Japan, I feel like, when it comes to Street Fighter and other games like that, because you, you get to calculate so much, right? And that's what they're good at. Marvel is not a calculator's game. Yeah. In fact, most of the time, your calculations are... I'm going to do this action that's going to cover a b big area of space right. and make me kind of safe and, 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 and throw stuff out and then pray eventually one of the moves connects. That's what Marvel is. And so while you're calculating, there's no possible way, unless you are on some genius level, that you're going to calculate the, di the many different angles. And even if you do calculate, a lot of it boils down to paper, rock, scissors. So even at the extent, if you were a master calculator and you could calculate everything in Marvel, even if you had that ability and you could do it instantly, you would still at the at, at the end of it, it would still come down to paper rock scissors yeah, on end top of, it, you of that. Would still get cards. Right. So no matter what, it it doesn't. That's why I feel like because they take such a methodical approach to the game, it actually keeps them lower. Not that they don't have the potential. If they were to go nuts like we would, like we do, then they would have even a better shot. And it's not you to know, say maybe, that we're maybe, superior as maybe gamers. Maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why Cho does so well over there. Because he kind of does just go nuts. He goes nuts. Just throws out that drill and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what Marvel is revol revolves around. It's, it's doing something that's kind of crazy. And if you notice, most of the crazy things in this game aren't even that punishable. Some of them are actually safe. Right. So then it, it's like it you get to do crazy things that are safe that lead to full life combos. If you're not doing that in this game, then you're not playing it properly. And so I feel like I feel like us, this game is revolved around our way of thinking. Because America is clearly not as or the U.S. is clearly not as methodical as Japan is. Instead of us taking time to try to calculate, we're creating actions and making them calculate us. And that keeps us a step above. And I'm not, I'm not taking away from their credit. I definitely feel like Japan is good. In fact, I would say they're probably the second best country. But to say that they're on, on the United States level, I think that's yeah, a little I unrealistic. I, I feel you there. I, think, I, I do think U.S. is a little better, but I always root for underdogs. Like, I wanted a Japanese to win EVO, and I wanted an American to win SPO. So. Well, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I typically root for the underdog, except, and I'm not a patriotic dude, but in this situation right here, I have to root for the States. Just because there's something... I'm very averse to what I feel Japan does in a lot of situations. For instance, Marvel 2, they had SBO. Or no, no, no. They had a 5 on 5. Yeah. And it was they got never boxed. An SBO game, just the right. They got a, they had a 5v5, got boxed, and then the country just quit the game. Because I think at that point they recognized, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We thought. Um, well, they, they thought it was a joke game. Yeah, because well, it was they like, well, we thought Anakaras so, yeah. was good and Dawson was good, and then right. they saw Cable and stuff, and they was like, this is ridiculous. I don't know what California is so dominant because of Wednesday night fights and that that system. I just got here. And then get this. So there used to be a Japan versus US and every single year there was a qualifier and the US um, US Tekken players would go to Japan and play in their USBO because they had Tekken for that as well. One year we do a 5v5, Japan versus USA. Japan gets bopped. The following year we don't have an SBO qualifier. They're not flying us out or anything. How does that happen? Yeah. Like, like to me, I feel like, okay, there's a level of pride, and I think, you know, you keep that, and I, and I expect that. But I think there's also a level of decency and, and, and respect that you have for, for gamers. And, and I think the, the fact that you losing in something can make your organization stop encouraging the other players to come I think that to me is deplorable and that's something that I so to me I definitely want the states to win and Marvel 
especially when you know some of them start um, start popping off too. So it's like, I want the states to win, and and if they don't invite us back after that, it'll be like, all right, fine, don't invite us back. But y'all got to hold that ill. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, uh, everyone's slowly rolling into the arcade. I'm getting called probably by someone who's late. Yep, it's Jen. Oh, and, and, and yo, Vapo, we ain't even going in on the SBO last year with what happened. Like, we're just going to leave that one alone. Yo, Fubar might be a little upset, but I'm sorry. I just got to keep it real. I'm telling you, they lost in the 5v5 in Marvel, never played the game again. They lost the 5v5 versus Tekken and then said, y'all niggas got to find your own way to come up over here to our SBO. Like, what is that, bro? And I'm going to tell you, like, three years prior, for the previous three years, I'm sorry, the preceding three years, Japan helped us get out there. We had a qualifier. Everything was great. The first year we win, the next year, no, no, you, you all got to figure it out yourself. Y'all got to go through the whole tournament like everybody else does. For real? What is that? What is that? Uh, to me, I don't know. That's deplorable. But at the same time, I did play Chow. No, I played Abigan when he came over here, and he bought me two games straight. Two games straight. I got bought. And then I had to, I ran him back and I beat him the fine. We did a first of three for 30 bucks. And he beat me the first two games and then I won the next three. Um, so that already, like, makes me nervous just because it's the idea. Like, had that been SBO, I'd have been botched by Abigail free. But then, you know. Right, I mean, and, you know, viewers are quick to judge. Like, oh, he lost 2-0 free. Yeah, yeah it'd be like, oh, you're, you're scrubbed. Like, this is Marvel, you know? Like, you got to play at least 10 games to, like, flush out and understand what they're even trying to do sometimes. Right. And it, it, the same thing happened with the Ray Ray match. Like, I, I got bopped the very first two games. And if that had been Evo, like in Pool or something, it would been like, see, man, Ray Ray bops Fnatic free. He's a scrub, right? And then I won the next eight games. But those eight games would have never been counted. It would have, I would have never had a chance to prove that. And the same thing happened with Zach Bennett. I played Zach Bennett in the first of 15. In the very first two games, I got bopped, like, badly. And then after that, I ran it back. I think I won, like, three or something like that. But look, final score is 15-8. But it's two out of three Marvel. It's stupid. It's stupid. How come I was almost crying during my interview after I beat Ray Ray? Well, I'll be honest with y'all. Like, I don't remember almost crying, but that sounds about right. I should have been crying. It was a that was like a key moment for me. It was my first major, and uh, my family. That was my first time having my family watch me in tournament. Like my mom and my dad and my brothers, cousins. Everybody was watching that. So um, it was like it was just an amazing moment for me. For my family. And they were actually supporting me playing video games. My family hates the fact that I play video games. If I if I told them right now I'm retiring from video games and only doing music, they would like they would jump for joy. They would jump for joy. And so I've always been on a mission to prove to them that video game video games are worthwhile. Like they'll they get a reminder, like when I did really, really huge money matches and I came home with a crap ton of money and was treating everybody to dinner and and helping niggas with their house, house payments. <laughs> then it was like, oh, you know what, video gaming is all right. But then Marvel 2 died down. Marvel 3 came out, and I started off late. And they were, like, hating again. Like, yo, man, you could just be making so much more money, you know, doing music. They want me very badly to be doing music. And in all, in all fairness, I probably should be doing music. It's worth a lot of money for me. Parents just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> What do I do in music? Um, I everything. I mean, I play, I play a bunch of instruments, but I, I play weddings. Um, I've played funerals. Um, I do concerts. At, like I've I've performed at a museum multiple times. Um, I've done. Um, I produce. Uh, I just joined my brother's band, Rhyme and Reason, which you can find on Facebook. I'm pretty sure somebody has a link. Um, you can also find them on YouTube, Rhyme and Reason Music. Um, they did the music for Renix combo video, his Alex combo video, I believe. And uh, I just joined that band. And so I'm probably going to be touring. Um, and who knows, we'll probably tour around the world soon. Uh, so, yeah, I, you know, I, just, I do everything in music. But I do play the piano. Like, I play, um, yeah, I just play instruments. 
I also do play the trombone. I do. I play um I play the piano, the baritone, the tuba, the trombone, and the clarinet. But those are those are the five instruments I picked up. Like I don't know, I just kind of have an affinity with instruments. So if I if I picked up more instruments, I'd probably be able to play them. Because like all those instruments, I just picked them up and was like, oh hey, I understand this, and I could play it. Like I'm gonna say like it takes me like. By the end of the day, then I can play pretty much any song I hear. Like, I can just play them by ear. And that's how I play piano also. I play by ear. Like, if I hear a song right now, I can just sit down and play it. Um, so that's always been my gift. I feel that note, bro. That makes sense. I do not sing, though. Um, I do have perfect pitch, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess I have to, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. I can't explain that. I can't. Which song will be finished? If you give me a team, no, 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 I don't, I, I'm not like that in video games. See, for me, video games is all about, like, some disciplined approach to things, right? Like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not naturally gifted like that. Like, I actually take a long time before I get good. But then in, like, instruments, it just happens. Like, like literally, I picked up a clarinet um, when I was 12 and, because my brother had it. And uh, it was, the Olympics was, was on. You know, it was, like, during the Olympics. And uh, I picked the instrument up, and literally five minutes later, like they had, the Olympics theme was on, and um, like literally within five minutes, I was playing that theme. Like, and I, I could just, and from that point on, I could play everything. Well, I had to learn how to do the higher notes because I didn't know how to do them yet. But once I once I learned a note, it was like, okay, now I can play any song that you know within that range. And so it was just that was it. I, I never, I still can't even read music. But whenever it came down to like, because I was in high school band, I was a nerd, and um. Whenever I was in a, when, whenever, like, so say something was lacking, for instance, uh, one of our trombones was ineligible because his GPA, so when they kicked him out of the band, uh, or they, they just told him he couldn't perform with us, and so we needed a trombone, because our trombone section was low, and I was a clarinet, and we had a billion clarinets, and so I was like, I'll pick it up, and so I picked it up, and he was like, well, go home for, it was a spring break, and so I took it home for two weeks, and when I came back, I could play all the music, and so then... He's like, okay, six, you're a trombone now. And then when it came to the graduation ceremony, um, it was my junior year, we needed a tuba, and the tuba was ineligible. So it was like, you think you could pick that instrument up? And I'm like, sure. And so I picked it up, and then, like, the next day, I could play the tuba. I was able to play all the songs for that. And then, like, we needed a bass. So he actually had me play keyboard during um, the field show. And then, like, um, it's just, just whatever, whatever instrument was lacking, that's what he had me play. Because he knew I, I'd be able to pick it up, like, in no time. Um... However, there's, um, I can't play the guitar. I don't even understand, like, I don't even, I can't get it. Like, I, I sat with that instrument for an hour, I think, and I almost threw it. I think I shoved it down. I was so mad. I, I can't, it just, it doesn't register. It doesn't, it doesn't click. I don't understand. I just don't understand the instrument. I don't. And it's weird, because, like, every other instrument, it's just, like, the second you pick it up, it's just like, oh, okay, I get it. My friend, she played the um, the, uh, the, sh the Koto. Um, she plays that. And so she was playing this song called Sakura. It's a, it's a Bimani song. And so I watched her play it. And then like, I was like, all right, let me try. And she got up. And I sat down and I played that exact same song directly after her, having never touched or seen that instrument. But then the guitar, I literally sit on it for an hour and I can't understand it. it just, it's so frustrating. That, like that instrument pisses me off so bad really really pisses me off because I, I just I don't know I don't know um, violin was hard but I could I could do it I don't know what it is man I know Mike Ross should teach me guitar man it really frustrates me though it really does I don't know How's it going, man? Very, very good. I'm in a much better mood today. I feel like I have a lot more energy. 
I ate breakfast. I got really, oh my God, my room. Yo. Because, like, okay, so the first night, the room, it was some complicated issue because the hotel is retarded. Yeah. They're like, yo, you got to ver- verify your credit card. It's like, well, he sent it in. He already paid for it. He said it'd be, the room would be in my name. And I'm showing you my idea with my name. And like, no, we got to fax them. And so I was like, all right, bump it. So he sent me to a different room. And this room last night, it came, it has a refrigerator in there. It has a whole kitchen. Refrigerator, stove, dishwater, dishwasher. Yeah. It got a separate, entire separate room. Um, it's like, it's a... It's it's a three room hotel room like it got yeah. a huge room with a TV in there then it has a living room with a couch and furniture and a TV in there yeah, and, and then it got the freaking kitchen and then the bathroom is sick it's, it's stupid it's like I got the best room ever that's so, so good I got really great rest and I was able to watch TV and stuff yeah I was enjoying myself I, I slept woke up woke up past the alarm uh, I was with a friend of mine and like I ate breakfast I'm good I'm good today too so. Yesterday, I was running three hours of sleep. Nobody can drive other than me. It's a three and a half hour drive from Houston to here. Suck. And blame Jen, blame Sam, like all those guys, they can't drive. Yeah. Jen, Jen has been adamant about not wanting to get a license ever. Ever? Ever. Why? He always gets a ride. And like the other place he gets to, he takes the bus. Well, I can't say so, like, a lot of I don't drive. He's too. I'm capable of that, but I just never do. Yeah, why? Why would you want to? Yeah. Why would you want to? Yo, ball so hard indeed. Yeah, this and is Stone. Uh, peaceful J Stream slash New Gamer Girl Stone. Good guy. Maybe. No, no, new. Wait, wait you new. stream on Peaceful J? Uh, no, uh, I, I got sponsored by them uh, after uh, talking with them like the other day. Uh, oh, really? I just go on the stream every once in a while when I can. Because, you know, when you go on online lobbies, they always have a 24-hour lobby. So well, That's amazing. No. I didn't even know that you were sponsored. I mean, it's I think sponsorships are really good. For instance, my sponsorship, AGE. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm course. sponsored by PDP. Of course. And, Man, uh, I had that shirt before you got it. You had the shirt before I did. See, yes. that's weird because these shirts... Are pretty hard to come by. I actually have a few that I'll be really? giving away. I remember. Oh, yeah, oh, that's that's a little different. That's yeah. a little different because I have I have an older one, and it was a rebate for like, um, they were giving away shirts for like, when you buy a product, they ask you to uh, send in like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I the think. way with that because they don't sell these shirts. Yeah, yeah. But I actually have a few that I will be giving away in the raffle that I'm doing. Uh, which you can, it's a donation drive, which you can do at wepay.com slash donations slash fanatic and the number two. Yeah. Fanatic two. And I'm giving away joysticks and tank top, I mean, t shirts and AGE afterglow pads, all of that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. No. See, now I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say, say something about this Raffle Monster Cancer cat. First off, I've been streaming since January. You know how many raffles I've done since January? Four. Hey man, let me break in and do a quick announcement. Four. Hey guys, um, last game on casuals, please. We're going to convert the machines over and get started very soon. And finally, uh, let me get one casual. Let me get one. Fi- casual. Finally, if um, anybody hasn't registered yet that didn't register yesterday and you want to register, you got to do that ASAP. We're about to make the bracket. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, this game with Fnatic and Benzor is going to be the last game until we get started. So, we'll get going very shortly. The vest is the UFO uniform. There's a UFO logo on the back. That's how customers know who knows how to fix things and make change. All right, so enjoy this last game of casuals. <clears throat> After this, uh, it's going to take just a few minutes to get set up, and then we're going to get started. Bracket will be up shortly on arcadeufo.challenge.com. <clears throat> you can already see the participants there, but of course the bracket's not ready yet. It'll be up right before we start. If nobody registers last minute, it looks like 36 today. High spirit juice. Hi Rayleigh. Hi Hydern. Oh shit, they started another game. I wasn't paying attention. Getting too many messages. Alright, I want to go chill next to the machine. So I'll get everything ready as soon as they finish. Oh, my God. 
Marvel vs. Capcom 3. All right, if nobody else knew is registering, uh, say something now or forever hold your peace. Nobody else? Are you already plugged up? All right, I can probably do that. Yeah, again, everybody from, re from yesterday is already in the bracket. Zev, you're in there. Uh, everyone that registered today is in there. So I am going to go ahead and shuffle out the bracket and get us ready. If you just got here today, the rules are very simple. It's two out of three, double elimination. Um, if you win within a two out of three set, you have to keep the same team. But if you lose within a two out of three, uh, two out of three set, you can switch teams. Also, you can switch teams on every new match. That doesn't matter. Hey, uh, as our, the, t the Tantrum guys are here, right? TTM guys? I just want to personally apologize for you guys having the worst luck in history. I, I actually hit shuffle three times this time. Yes, and it still came, it still came up you guys first. So I want to I personally apologize for your bad luck. I'm playing Sam first.
All right, so let's get started here. Um, the, the bracket has been decided. You can check it out on arcadeufo.challenge.com. It's arcadeufo SPO qualifier number two. And the first match is going to be Fnatic and Stone on stream. And off stream, can we get Mammon and Brutal? Mammon and Brutal off stream. All right, so Fnatic and Stone gearing up for our first rounds. And if anyone is unaware now, both machines are on tournament all day until further notice. No casual play at all. Alright, sorry for the delay there on stream settings. Anyway, um, the match has gotten underway. H Fnatic oh. on player one side and Stone on player two. And I think that's going to end it. Um, yeah, so it looks like... The end of the first match. And Stone taking the time to put the shades back on. I like it. See, I, I wasn't looking over and I saw... Uh, I saw Stone getting hit, I was like, oh no, Stone's losing. And I look over again, and then he won. Yeah, that match was so fast, I don't even know what happened, to be honest. <laughs> it's to a it's yeah, it's a good thing we have that recorded. Alright, so here we go into the second match. Oh, and Stone gets scooped up. Oh, but Fnatic drops the S. Yeah, a rare drop. It wasn't even something that was difficult. He could have potentially killed, uh, arguably, uh, Stone's best character. But nice convert there. Oh, but once again, he drops it. Can yeah, Stone convert off this, though? This is kind of an awkward angle. Yes, thanks okay, to Wesker. Yeah, thanks to Wesker. Man, I should put Wesker on my team. <laughs> That's so convenient. That happens all the time, where you have the vertical jump at zero. Yeah. Up. Let's see so if he Magneto's doesn't drop the soap loose. here. And he tags in Wesker, OK. <laughs> Oh, very yeah, nice. Mix, mix up on Storm. That's going to be difficult to convert off of. Oh! Nice bait. Nice bait. And Fnatic just wasted his X-Factor. But Stone drops the combo. It's all right, though, because Stone's still in it. Oh, and Stone actually gets a hit. And he's just going to DT into zero. Oh, and into the into ball. He wants to make okay, sure that Storm smart, dies. Smart. I like that. Safe bet. And then Zero's and coming in with the ball. Yeah, Sindel's still having to do with that soccer player. That 
That assist is so good for that oh. character. I think he went for down M, but got an uppercut by accident. But he got the hit, and Wesker's going to help him convert. And that should be it. He's going to have to get a few more hits in to make sure the X-Factor kills. Oh, he's going to go for the loop. Okay. I respect that. Drops it, but... Yeah, no there's matter. not really much he can do. And the Fnatic is sent, sent to losers in the first round. <laughs> I like that you tried to put negative zero there. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of really stacked first rounds. We do, we do. Um, I want to try to get... Let's see. I want to do these three on stream. And... All right, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and play Mihei, get that out of the way. Mihei, where are you at, son? I gotta abuse my my age advantage here. Yeah, that's zero for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it drops frames sometimes, so there's nothing you can do about it. That's just a PS3 for you. Like, yeah, like you uh, hyper you grab loop, him. and then nothing came out at all, and then one of the time I went crouching H. And tried yeah, to launch you, you missed him and the nothing S. happened. And you can't miss that button. Yeah, exactly. I was like, that was it just drops inputs. That was but it's weird. okay. I'll just it's it's a tournament and that means I gotta run to the losers. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, it sucks. Now we got two zero players. Sure, sure, I got a converter. Uh, be careful, it does. It's bad though. The only thing is, it does drop inputs every now and then. But yeah, you just you can use that. Wait, wait. You don't have a wire? Oh no, no, not without wire. You can, if you ever, so you don't want to run into that problem anymore. You can always get the pad from PDP.com. It's an afterglow controller, and you can save fifteen percent. All right, by guys. So we got Ryan on the right, and, and then uh, you get that pad Mihai on the left. And I mean, fine. Ryan kind of stole this team. Pretty guy on controller. I, I'm so mad at my brother. I normally okay. bring like eight uh, of them. You have to wait for him. Me. I'm sorry, man. And it looks like Sam got the first hit. And uh, I mean, Ryan's character is probably dead right now. Oh my god. This character. So ridiculous. Now he's gonna get this godlike incoming mix up. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's see if he. No, he didn't know how to convert properly. PS3 doesn't drop anything. All right, you know everything. Um, all right, so Mihei is going in. He is up a character. But I feel like he's it's equal right now because if he drops, I feel like once he loses his zero, then the match decidedly. Well, that's assuming he loses his zero. Right. Oh. But well, when okay. that happens, yeah. Then so it, when it he loses different. his zero. The difference is, though, that uh, Mihei puts uh, Virgil... Oh, what the... Okay. Let's see if Ryan can properly capitalize. Yeah. I, um, I mean, he could have just done super in a swords loop, and that would have killed. Yeah. But I guess he wanted to make sure that Virgil make was dead. Safe. Yeah. Um, Dante, I feel like, is a great anchor, though. And he just got a hit. <laughs> and he can follow up and after And Stone this. laughing, because Sam just does stuff, and it works. Like, not a, a lot of people realize that that, uh, oh, what? Oh, no. He dropped his input again. Okay. Oh, um, chip him. Yeah, this is just kind of sloppy play right now. Oh. oh if Uberduck can kill him right now, he still has X-Factor. better X-Factor right now. I am so shocked he did an X-Factor. 
I am too, but he wants this. Me hate, I mean, and Fubar takes games one. I really don't want Mihei to lose. I don't want him to be in my bracket. <laughs> we'll fight another zero. Fun fact, Sam just woke up. Like, not even 30 minutes ago. Okay. Let's see if he can not drop the soap this time. Yeah, I don't even think he'll need meter. Even with the drop combo, it still did so much chip. Wow. And he's looking like he's about oh. to Oh my goodness. And this is a problem. But again, if he loses that zero, the match changes for sure. Let's see if uh, Ryan can capitalize off this. He didn't do full combo, but he does have loops. Oh, I think he might be too far. Yes, he is. See, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, that's... You have to... You learn to analyze those things as a zero play, or a virtual player because you're like, oh, is this going to drop here? Yeah, see... That's something only a Virgo player would know. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got the buster. And he released it. Oh, he's going to get the unblockable. Oh, and that is not good by Mr. Duck. Oh, he almost had it. Uh, gets it anyway. And this is going to be dead. Oh, he or tried, not. He, he tried more oh. time. Oh, no, that was someone else's joystick. Okay. Sam's just being foolish right now. I really can't understand why he didn't get that DHC though. I, I oh, he think he just didn't go for it. Dead. I think he realized that they already won, so he's just kind of trolling around. Oh, he could be doing that. Yeah, he does that a lot. <laughs> yeah, he, he does that a lot. <laughs> I heard the buttons from this joystick right here, and I was like, wait, I heard it three oh, times no. Friday. Yeah. No, he plays on pad. Yeah. I didn't know oh. that until today. Oh, wow. Oh, he dropped it. And he can convert off of this. That's one thing I like about watching Sam Zero so much is he converts off everything. Like he'll get like a random jump M and he'll convert off of it. That's a dead zero. So dirty. Oh, drops the combo. Five. You have to be really careful. Okay, now this yeah. match is really, really looking good. Uh, Virgil is an amazing anchor, but if he bro doesn't hit, mi uh, hit that incoming mix-up, yeah, he gets hit. Oh, okay. And yeah, he didn't want to burn the bar. And, and that that's it. A perfect. He's gonna go for the full combo. He he will just because it's me hit. <laughs> Oh, or not. He had to do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, what is that? Why do people do that? What, what's that thing? It's from an anime. That's all I know. That's all I'll say anyway. But the anime gang signs. I guess so. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, there's nowhere to practice either. I want to practice some marble. I just gotta wait around because they're not gonna run losers for a while. Someone said it's a homosexual mating. <laughs> Damn. Ten, ten more years. Ten more years. All right, next up on stream is going to be Swarly versus Rubix. TTM Swarly versus Rubix on stream. Off stream, can I get Magneto 1080p and Evil Toaster? Magneto 1080p and Evil Toaster off stream. Any, anytime I hear that name, Evil Toaster, I think of that one um, 
This cartoon I watched when I was like in elementary school called The Brave Little Toaster. It was pretty godlike. I'm going to probably go down, I mean, uh, acquire that on the internet. Just a random little factoid. Brave Little Toaster was godlike. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, real talk, it was so good. But. I'm, I'm worried. I don't want to watch it now and then that movie be bad and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And it bots me and then I'm crapping on my childhood. It's all good. See, I don't know if there were two or three of, three of them, but I know if there are, don't even watch the second and third ones because they're always bad. They always do like a great Disney movie and then they just crap on it and just try to exploit all the little nigglets. There's only been a few of them. Shrek. Pulled it off successfully. Aladdin Part 2, knock it off. Real talk, just stop right there. Like, really? Lion King 2, not today, nigga. Not gonna fly over here. Movie is failed. Toy Story, all right, Toy Story got away with it, too. Oh, Shrek is not Disney? That's why. That's why. The Land Before Time, maybe Part 1, but not 6, 7, and 8. Anyway, onto this match. Wow, he converted off of the balloon bomb. Yo, he is mashing that light. Oh, okay, there we go. And he can convert, or he's going to use a super and kill him. You know, I think Scroll is pretty pretty good against Zero, honestly. Scroll, good against Zero. Hmm. What does he have? Well, with assist, he can make him guess before Zero can, you know, do anything. Uh, and, like, random lightnings on the air aren't going to hit Scroll if he meteor smashes. And that balloon bomb. I guess it would, it would, he would run into the balloon bomb in a lot of situations. Yeah, sure enough. I mean, I, th I think it covers a lot of space. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that being really good. Well, the game's not over yet, because Swarley has X Factor Virtual. And yeah, Spencer's down. Is there really a Lion King one and a half? I'm sorry to derail this. Okay, back in there. Uh, I think there's a straight to video Lion King, so I think that's what he's talking about. Oh, gosh, it's so bad. Disney, stop! Stop! No, there was a legitimate one and a half. <laughs> they need to stop! Because I know there was a Lion King too, but anyway, alright. So Virgil got the, oh he got the mix up, that didn't even combo. Is Rubik's about to go down to X-Factor Virgil? I hope not. See that's, Modoc is constantly in, in an OT, I mean uh, off the ground state so he gets so to. All, all he has to do is crown him, I don't know why he's doing double trigger and all this bullshit. He's feeling himself. It's right, called feeling well, himself. Anyway. I do not want to play Rubik's. I don't, so I want Rubik's to win. Leaf Shield said it correctly. All right, he goes in. He got. Dang, he's getting these throws. I think I would X Factor and kill Zero. Oh, and here is Dante why. Ends up getting hit by Zero in exchange. Not good. Not a good trade at all. Not at all. Because at this point, Zero will probably kill this scroll of his execution. Oh, oh he, he misses missed the lightning. It. Happens sometimes. Yeah, he did a, a half circle he instead, the of a, instead, yeah. of the, yeah, instead of a. Yeah. Instead of the Dragon Punch. I'm sorry. He did. Four one two three six as opposed to six two three. So stupid. Uh, Dante lost so much damage there. Tenderizer deals even more to him. A rolling hook and a jamming bomb. Oh, oh, nice, that's nice. cheap. I love how the jamming bomb covered his hand H cross up that he got blocked. Oh, Virgil tries to. Uh, Rapid slash but gets damned by the Danny Bomb. And Rubik takes game two very convincingly. Oh, oh nice area. There it is. Reads it. Zero does not want to be on the ground. and Virgil, okay, I can see that. Oh, yeah. He burns X Factor to kill Virgil. Not a bad choice. He's doing so many rolling hooks. And yeah. Combo. I can't believe it. It's very, very, very good damage. And his assist just gives him just the right utility for that. Uh, and that shows the synergy between his assists and his uh, super scroll. 
Well, it definitely seems like Rubik's goal now is to make Zero the last character, which yeah. is a pretty wise choice, because yeah. Zero on his own is just not that scary. I definitely agree. But it's funny, he can be the best character in the game, I think, on point, but right, not right. the best anchor. Yeah, he's, he's just not a very good anchor. I think um, Super Scroll, um, Virgil, Strider, Hawkeye are better a, better anchors. Yeah. Taskmaster. I'm not sure about Taskmaster. He's good, but I, I don't. I wouldn't give him like S tier.